Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Luke with Premium Aquatics here with the tank. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate you. Let's jump right into it. What are we talking about today? We are going to talk about the pH in my tank. Not really about my tank, but just pH in general and what we can do to raise it up. One of the things that we're going to showcase today, you probably have already seen, uh, but we're going to add it to my system, see how it does, and uh, we'll go from there. So, without further ado, let's go ahead, jump right into this video, and get it going. So today we have the ice cap CO2 scrubber. This guy is basically just a small reactor that you're gonna put CO2 absorbing media inside and we're gonna hook it up to our protein skimmer on the inlet where the air silencer is or we could even take the air silencer off probably because this is gonna silence it as well. But we'll play with that when we get there. So this is going to go on the intake of the skimmer on the Venturi and basically it's gonna suck the air through it, go through this absorption media, and it's gonna take out the excess CO2 that is in your room. Theory behind this is basically that this media is absorbing the excess CO2 in our room, and most of the houses today are very, very closed up, especially during the winter time. So you've got your windows closed, you got your doors closed, you might have your AC running or whatever, but uh, most of the time your house is pretty well closed up. So with that, you've got people, you've got animals, you've got all this stuff with excess CO2 just being thrown around so with all that excess CO2 ends up affecting the pH in our system and the one thing they even talk about themselves ice cap is that if you open up your window leave it open for a 24 48 hour period test the pH prior to it and test the pH after it and see what it does if it rises up generally speaking it's probably because you have that excess CO2 going out and the tank then does not lower its pH as a result so instead of having to do that um, you know, if you can't open up your windows because you got the AC running, or you got something else going on, or it's cold out, it's winter, whatever you may be uh, dealing with, this is a viable option to include into your tank. It's a really simple setup, so it's super easy to get onto your tank to help with that pH, which increased pH, as long as it's not too over the board, uh, increased pH can help with coral growth, uh, coloration, all that jazz. And one thing they do recommend uh, to keep an eye out on is as the pH increases uh, and then corals can grow better and because they're going to grow better they're also going to uptake nutrients like calcium magnesium strontium all that especially with like sps and those sort of things keep that in mind that if you are doing this sort of method to raise your ph and you do see better coral growth make sure you're still testing your parameters to ensure that you're not taking a larger increase of calcium and so you need to dose a little bit more of that as well so Keep an eye on those things. So without further ado, let's open the box up, take it out, and we'll get it hooked up on this system. It's super simple, guys, I promise you. So let's go ahead and get it done. Once you open the box, this is what you get. Some media and the media chamber. Uh, real simple, uh, this is what the CO2 absorbing media looks like, just small white pellets. How much you'll get in the box will depend on your reactor, but it does come with a starter set. This is the large reactor. I'll leave the link in the description below like usual so you can go check out the specs, see which size will be uh, best for your tank. Generally speaking, you probably use any on any size system. So just keep in mind, the smaller the media chamber, the less media you have, which means the faster that would exhaust compared to a larger chamber. But completely up to you. Just depends how often you want to change out that media. The reactor itself is pretty straightforward, simple to set up. We have an input and output on the top. We have an acrylic tube that goes all the way down to the bottom. And basically this is going to ensure that uh, the air that gets sucked in is going to be forced through the media and have as good contact time as possible and make sure it's make sure that media is as efficient as possible for you as well so to get it set up super simple and easy remove the three thumb screws on top that will release this lid uh, which does have a silicone o-ring and from there this is where we're going to put our co2 media so we'll put that in that hole fill it up put it back on tighten it down and then we'll get it hooked up to our skimmer it does have this hang on the bracket. If you have a sump that allows to do that, or if you're putting it on the back of your tank and have the, the clearance for this uh, body, um, mine is a Euro brace, so it's not going to be able to utilize this. So what I'll do is I'll just sit on the bulkheads for the drain section because um, I'm not using that drain anyway. So uh, it does have that just in case your sump allows you to uh, hang it on the side if you'd like to, or you can always just put it on the outside as well. So what I'm going to do for my setup is I'm going to take off the skimmer silencer, attach it to the inlet here, and then get it set up on the side of the tank and we'll be good to go. There's not a whole lot to this. It's super easy and simple to set up. So let's go ahead, pop the top. Let's get the media in here and uh, I'll show you from there. 
So the media is in the chamber, almost filled up here to the top, and I even have a little media left over, so that's nice to have. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the skimmer tube on the inlet here, get it uh, set up on the side of the tank, and I'll show you it set up. It's not gonna look pretty. My tank is not a pretty tank down there, but I'll show you what it looks like, and then basically, what we're gonna do is to figure out when we need a media change is one, this should change color. So as this changes color, we'll know uh, that the media needs changed out, but also by testing our pH. Once the pH starts you know, dwindling and stepping back down, we know that this media is probably getting exhausted or is exhausted, and then we can change that out. Uh, but there should be some color changes while it happens, and, I, and I'll showcase that once that happens. But um, the best way is just to ensure you're safe is to test your pH. I would test the water before putting this on, and then test it every day just to see what's going on with it, make sure it's not skyrocketing or anything like that. Um, but it should help uh, raise that pH a couple of values and keep it stable. With this running and constantly running, should keep it stable. So as long as you're not letting this exhaust, wait a week to fill it up again, let it exhaust, wait a week, you, you know, then you'd have spiking uh, and lowering pH. But as long as you keep this uh, active, uh, you should be able to help maintain that higher level of pH. So let's go ahead and get this set up and then I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so here it is set up. Apologize for the darkness here. Uh, but basically I'm just sitting it on top and left of my CO2. Uh, I got my air silencer right here, which I had to add some excess tubing to that I had laying around because uh, the skimmer tubing just wasn't long enough. So basically I'm just gonna attach it to the top here, put it down, and that's it. It's all set up. Uh, now we can just, I'm gonna leave the air sensor on just so it's a, basically an extender for me. And uh, we'll see what happens to our pH. I'm getting around 8.2 right now. So we'll check it out uh, the next couple days. I'll report back next uh, video and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below for this. Uh, go check it out, see what size works for you. So if you want some increased pH, definitely go check this out. Uh, great little add to the tank. Does not take up too much room uh, and it's easy to set up, which I can't argue. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, share the content, hit the bell for notifications so to stay the most update on this system, as well as the other videos we're putting out and we will catch you next time. Peace.